We're all out and about. Hitting the wards. Have you got a question for me? With our ouch bleepers. Ready to answer your medical queries. That is a lovely question. Nothing to see here, just three doctors waiting for their bleepers to go. Off! They've got on! <laughs> the first question is from Will. How are you, Will? Well, poorly. I'm in hospital. Oh, yeah. Keep up, Zand. So what was your question? If two people of the same leg length would have a race, why would one be faster? What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds to me like a case of, I want to know why two people with the same leg length might run at different speeds. Itis! Yeah. There are lots of things that determine how fast you run. And in fact, leg length isn't even that important. It's about muscle strength, how hard your heart can beat, whether it can get enough blood around you, and maybe most importantly, why you're running in the first place. If I told you to go for a run right now, you might not run very fast. But I tell you what, if Dr. Chris walked in here and did his smelliest fart, we'd both be running as fast as we could. Yeah. Great. Question answered. What? You do the stinky fart, Zand. Quick ronks to the next question. It's from Javen, who has achondroplasia and is having treatment to make his bones grow. Javen! I hear you've got a question for me. Why do people snore? What's the diagnosis, Doc? That sounds like a case of, why do people snore? Itis. Well, I don't snore, but you should hear Chris. You ask me that question. Because I snore. Do you really? <sighs> the tissues in the back of your throat, which are your tonsils, which are there, and your adenoids, which are there, relax. So when you take a deep breath in, the air rubs against those tissues, and that's how the noise is generated. Well, you deserve a sticker for that. Thank you. No worries. You need to get a move on, Chris, because Emily wants to pick your brains. Why is your brain soft, Dr Chris? My brain's not soft. My brain is perfectly good, thank you. No, I mean everyone's brain soft. Oh, I see. Why is everyone's brain soft? Yes. <clears throat> What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds to me, Ebony, like you have a severe case of I want to know why your brain is soft, Dr Chris. No, in fact, I want to know why everyone's brain is soft-itis. <laughs> Got it in one, Chris. You're absolutely right. Brains are one of the softest organs in the body. And the reason I know that is partly because I'm a doctor, but also because I've eaten brain. Ah. Not, not human brains, animal brains. Now, the reason your brain is soft is because it's surrounded by the bones of your skull some of the strongest bones in the body, and then it's cushioned by a layer of cerebrospinal fluid that protects it. And that's why it doesn't need to be anything other than soft and squidgy. Did I answer your question? Yes, Dr Chris. Great. Well, you have earned yourself an Operation Ouch sticker to stick on your brain. That's all for today. <laughs> Clinic closed. <laughs>